You see, the world is trying to release an impartation on us too, through media, through crazy things and the, and the chaos. Even circumstances are all trying to speak to us, and it's been a very unusual year. But we don't want to close out this year under the thumb. Yeah. We want to close out this year in, 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 under the hand of God. Do you see what I'm saying? Not under the thumb of the enemy or, 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 or those things, but we really need to get in the hand of God and we need to get into that place where the cheerfulness, the attitude, the faith would come alive in our hearts. And how is that going to happen? Well, we're going to have to choose to believe what God's word says, digest it, consume it, apply it in our lives. And that's going to be a very important key for this season. But not only right now, this has actually been a life key. But oftentimes Christianity has been mamby pamby and uh, you know whatever in especially in the West. I'm sorry, we've been mamby pamby Christians, and, and now we got craziness going on in our world. And the only reason it's happening is, unfortunately, we haven't been who we ought to be. Just be truthful. But that's okay. We're going to get there because the life of Christ is on the inside of us, and we're going to allow that reality to come alive. Because I'm telling you, Jesus is excited about His church. Jesus is excited about His bride. And no doubt he's coming in the church, but then he's coming for the church, and then he's coming for the nations when he comes on the Mount of Olives. I'm telling you, we're about to experience a presence and a wisdom, and wisdom precedes this level of, of glory that's going to manifest in the church, and God wants that wisdom to operate in his house and in his church.